I'm going on a ride along with Luke the Bouncer from the strip club. Hopefully I can get some advice on other places to seek out my investigation. He's gonna show me different hot spots when he was selling drugs and drug-ridden parts of town. What up? Hey, what's up, Jack? How you doing? All right, you? All right. You ready, right? Hell yeah, you ready? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, all right. Ready to see some <laughs> I'm undercover, so everything has to be casual, normal, you know? I have to be cool. And I can't show that I'm involved in something more than just being new around town. I don't know nothing about this area. I'm really hoping that Luke can show me the spots where cartels linger, but I'm gonna have to see what he's willing to share with me to seek out my investigation. Why is everybody's car so jacked up? Because you're in Louisville, man. It's high-speed chases and shootouts. Like, for real, man. During the day, you can ride what the you want to ride in Louisville. At nighttime? Yeah, that's what I heard. This is St. Louis. And I ain't going to point, but these little houses right here to the left, mm -hmm. back in the day, you know, open market drug dealing. You know, you stand on all four corners of his block and, and get you your get shit whatever off. whatever you want. Yeah, you get whatever you want. Sell whatever you want. Like this area right here, this is Portland. And Portland, this is where, where the white guys get it. Portland is known for pills, weed, and cocaine. When you come in Louisville, people think because um, white people live in Portland that they ain't tough or, you know, they shouldn't be respected. They wrong, you know what I'm saying? Portland is one of the toughest white neighborhoods in the city of Louisville. These to kill you on this side of the, 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 the road, just like they will up here on the other side of the road. And don't ever forget that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's his right. own space. Okay. And drugs is not just in the West End of Louisville. This right here is the old folks' towers for the, you know, sick and elderly that don't have families, right? Right. You know what they call this? Now, what? New Jack City. It's supposed to be a spot for elderly people. Now, you got the old people and a whole bunch of drug addicts selling heroin, crack, whatever drugs on the street, you can go right there to New Jack City and find it. Oh, wow. The reality of it is drugs is really all over the community. It's just, they're everywhere. What do you think it is? Is it the geography that's? The geography of the interstate. I-65 is a main corridor from Louisville to the south. This area right here, this is where a lot of people threw life away and chose to live or sleep under a bridge. It's really sad to see the effects the cartels have on this community. I ain't gonna walk over with no cameras now, but we can get out if y'all want to. We live in America. This is crazy. What does he mean why are getting it in here? All that shit is mapped out. My girlfriend, a year or two ago, she's being nosy. She sees this guy get out and throw two big garbage bags over the bridge and pull the shit off. She calls the police to say, a guy just dumped some trash on the side and took off. So the police get there and they bust the bags open. It's nothing but money. The cartel ride down the street, throw something out the window. You know that I'm throwing it out beforehand. You pull over like you're being good to the community, and you pick up, put in your car, and pull the f out. What's the reason for that tactic? No, no hand to hand. Being out on the block, that's one of the no-nos that I learned. You don't ever hand somebody something. Police send people out there to watch for that. So if it ain't hand to hand, where's the suspicion? This bridge, it's a good location for the drug market, basically. It's a perfect spot for the cartels to drop their packages off. Not only is there a bunch of users, there's also a lot of dealers that make their money under this bridge. Let's get back. Let's bounce. <laughs> now I have a lead to follow. I want to get under that bridge and hopefully find out how the cartel's doing business around here.